This video will show you how to create menus from foods and recipes in Nutritix. It will also demonstrate how these menus can be used to generate digital interactive display boards as well as allergen and calorie summary reports. To get started, click the My Menus tab in the Explorer folder. You can then either create a new menu or make a new group for storing multiple menus in a menu cycle. I'll just make a single menu for now as I can reorganise this later. There are a number of ways items can be added to your menu. The most familiar will be to search for an item and click the insert button to add it to the menu workspace. It can also be helpful to use the groups filter here to find meals and foods from a particular group quickly. Multiple items can be added at a time by dragging a folder group onto the menu workspace. Another way to add items is to expand a recipe or a food group in the workspace by clicking on it. Then it's just a simple drag and drop to add that item to your menu. This method gives you finer controls and insights into what is being added to your menus, as you can customise the display to monitor costs, allergens, nutrition and much more as you go. Similarly, when you have finished adding items to your menu, open it to review and customise the parameters on display. This enables you to run analyses on the total menu, for example, the production cost or waste, and you can even estimate portion requirements from the predicted popularity of the dish. This is discussed in more detail in a separate menu cycle and waste management video. The layout of the workspace here can be changed to a table view by clicking the thumbnail toggle at the bottom right corner of the screen. Either of the views can be exported for printing or sharing. Once satisfied that all items have been added to your menu, an allergen and calorie summary report can be generated from the paper button at the top of the screen. This displays all allergens and calories on your menu in one simple report for printing or sharing. Clicking the digital button will take you to the digital menu screen. Here you can see all your created menus. Drag them up to make them live on your customer view. A background image for your digital menu can also be added here. Click a menu to preview the customer view. Any changes made to your recipes in Nutritix are automatically synced and kept up to date on this display in real time. Customers can browse this menu and filter by their dietary requirements and preferences. The items displayed on both the digital and the paper outputs can be controlled from the settings button here. The link will give direct access to this digital menu and can be entered on any tablet or smartphone device. The main digital display showing all menus can be accessed from Start, Digital Menus. The QR code here also enables customers to access the digital menu on their own smartphones. It can simply be printed as a label and added to your existing print menus. So this concludes the tutorial on menu creation and display. Please see our other video on menu cycle management to learn more.